can fix in your own problem and you can actually create a bigger global problem. So I just feel that it's time for us to really change our lifestyle. Green Roof has protect um, the use of the energy in the building because you reduce heat to come into the buildings, but you also reflect heat outside your um, the environment. So it's actually benefit both way. And also when you're saving the energy, you don't open air condition, which also of course you put all the heat outside, which is like make it even worse. So having green roof reduce the energy cost and also cool down the temperature for the surrounding. And I think that should be norm. Think about all the waste space, billions of square meters of wasted rooftop. It's actually part of our problems can turn into the solution like this green roof like all this um, temperature open heat island PM 2.5 is actually part of Bangkok climate impact as well so if we can turn this kind of problematic space into such a solution for many more for open heat island for food security and also teaching a younger generation with so many of this impact of climate. I think we will be better off having the balance of developing the city and also not too much focus to create a problem of urban heat island. Let's say in Singapore, we are the same climate. And of course, they are tropical, but you walk along the street with lots of trees. You feel the breeze, you feel like this is walkable, livable, doable. So I think we have many good examples within a tropical climate. And I hope Bangkok will be a future example for, for this solution as well. We actually one of the lowest public green space per capita, and no wonder that's why Bangkok is one of the cities that have a problem with urban heat island. I think humans have to adapt rather than think about over consuming to fix the problem. You can fix in your own problem, but you can actually create a bigger global problem. So I just feel that it's time for us to really change our lifestyle. Mm -hmm.